Hey, this is Russ. I'm back out on the path today. Yeah, we're on the three mile path. I call it the three mile path because it takes three miles to get around in the circle or oval. <laughs> so I'm out here on the Hemiway Zebra today. I figured this would be a great bike to take out and try this out for today. It's uh, 52 degrees out. It's kind of chilly. I have my sweatshirt on. Even so, I think I should have put a long sleeve underneath the sweatshirt. <laughs> Yeah, I think a windbreaker would really help out, but I don't have one. I think I would have to put on a heavy winter jacket next time. So, uh, yeah, the Hemiway. What a great bike. <laughs> this, like I've always been saying from the start, this thing is built like a tank. Very solid construction. Handles up to 400 pounds of payload. I'm uh, 255 myself. So we have another 150 pounds worth of payload you can put on this bike. Now somebody said, why don't you just load it up to 400 and see how it goes? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take the word of the manufacturer. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a nice bike. You know, I should probably pull off and let you see what the bike looks like. Let me, let me, uh, let this gentleman pass first. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go off this way. I don't think we go off this way that often. Let's do it. This is typically where the, uh, the cars will go or if people want to do some picnicking. Let me find a spot here. Let me show you what we have. Yeah, let's go up over here. I've been up here before. Oh, they striped it all up for something. You must have some type of race or something going on. I see like some finish line uh, things there. Well, we'll go here anyway. All right. This is a true step through bike. There it is. <laughs> Yeah, this is one nice looking bike. I'll have to say that for sure. The white really stands it all out. Let's go on around this side here. Yeah, isn't that a nice looking bike? This thing is a true class two bike. You can unlock it to go up to 25 miles per hour. I've gone ahead and done that. <laughs> Textural hydraulic brakes, front and rear headlights, <laughs> comes with a rack, true step through, you just step right through it, don't have to swing your leg over anything, yeah, makes it easy. All right, let's go back on the trail, trail here. So today, I'm not gonna make this a really long video or anything. I think most of the videos are gonna be about a half hour or so long during this time period. Very hard to stay out for an hour <laughs> with the code. I'm telling you, it is not that easy to do. So, uh, I think my goal will be half hour half hour rides at a time. I mean, otherwise I'd be suffering through the, uh, the coldness. I wanted to come back out here because I wanted to see what the, the trees look like. You know, with the, uh, the leaves are starting to come down and everything and, and everything. <laughs> Thanks again. Um, yeah, the leaves are coming down, changing colors. Um, Out here on the path, uh, we have quite a bit of different types of trees. Somebody mentioned to me that uh, they really like watching the uh, the fall season and seeing uh, tree colors and the leaves and things changing. Yeah, it's true. We do get uh, 
we do get to see that. I think there's other areas of the United States that probably look a little nicer even. These, uh, these things, uh, I don't know, <laughs> maybe I'm just used to it. Uh, most of ours are just like the yellow out a little bit, but um, others, um, you know, they turn red and everything is kind of nice. So I noticed here that they're already starting to cut down some of this, uh, this vegetation. They did that last year as well. And then what they did is they actually burned it. So what they do is they cut it all down, then they actually burn it all. And I was really surprised by that. I said, well, you know, if you burn it, doesn't that mean it's dead? It's not coming back? Apparently it comes back. <laughs> so, yeah, little do I know about how all this stuff works. All right, let me pass through here first. And, uh, yeah, they haven't got it all down yet, but they will. They'll get to a point where all of this stuff will be cut down to, to a point. I, I, they can't take it all down because we do have deer and things like that in here. And I've always wondered when they, when they burn it all out, does, uh, <laughs> do they watch for the animals first before they start burning everything? Or do they just uh, start burning and hope that the animals, ma animals make it out of there? <laughs> that's, that's what I've always wondered. What about the slow moving animals, right? They're stuck in the middle. I don't think they make it. I mean, this year alone, uh, I've noticed uh, a couple of snakes out here. Obviously, we've seen deer out here. We've seen uh, snapping turtles out here. Lots of all, all small little critters as well, you know. I don't think they make it. I think they get burned up. That's my guess. So, uh, yeah, how... <laughs> How do they do that? And and some of it has to stay up there because there's that's protection for the other animals. I mean, I know during the middle of the day, uh, the the deer are hiding. They're they're out here. You know they're here. <laughs> you don't see them, but you know that they're around here, right? So uh, yeah, I've always wondered about that. So let's talk about this Hemiway again. Overall, I would say the, the Hemiway uh, functions very well. Um, I will say it is a heavy bike. It is not a lightweight bike. I mean, you're talking, uh, well, I don't remember exact weight. What is it, around 76, 78 pounds, something like that. It's, uh, it's not a lightweight, but you're also looking at a 20 amp hour battery in that down tube. And that, that's gonna add a certain amount of weight, right? We're talking um, four inch, uh, 26 inch fat tire bike. Um, that's gonna add some weight. The frame is built, like I said, it's built like a tank. I mean, this thing is the strongest bike I think I've gotten so far, as far as build quality is concerned. Um, Tectural brakes really help out. It really stops on a dime. If you really pushed on that thing, you'd, you'd skid. <laughs> uh, we still have a little bit of brake squeal, but it's not objectionable. As far as the get up and go, uh, it's very similar to some other bikes that I have in the sense that uh, it's not an immediate reaction. You push down, it takes about a second or so before it reacts. I actually kind of like that because that way if you, I mean if you, I have a 3D printed thumb throttle accessory here. You see it's doing nothing because if you accidentally hit that and there wasn't a delay, you jerk forward, okay? I'd rather, I'd rather be able to say, okay, it takes a, a, a little bit of time before it actually kicks in. Uh, same thing with pedaling so that I'm not jolted off of this bike. Better to be safe than sorry. And then they also send it out as a true class two bike. Not, not a lot of bikes do that anymore. A lot of them just throw them out there and they're all, 
all over the place for speed. True class two basically means that the motor will assist you when you pedal up to 20 miles per hour, or if you throttle, it'll go and assist you up to 20 miles per hour, okay? That's what this bike does. But if you unlock it, which I've already done <laughs> with a secret code, it'll do 25 miles per hour for those that need a little bit more speed, like me. <laughs> It's just a preference that I have. You know, when I'm on the street, I prefer to go a little faster. So. Or if I had to pass somebody, I might want to go a little bit faster. So yeah, it gives it to you if you need it. If you want to stay to the exact letter of the law, leave it at class two. Take it right out of the box and you're ready to go. A couple things that I've changed on this bike since I've received it. I changed out the bell. It seems like it's not just Hemiway, but almost every other company uses the same bell. <laughs> yeah, admittedly, they're kind of cheap. Yeah, they're not the greatest bells, but it's a bell. You know, you could use it if you want. I prefer this one. This is this is a uh, this is also a cheap bell, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's very low profile. It rings a long time. It's relatively loud. So yeah, I prefer that. Cell phone mount I have on here is a clamp-on style. And um, I move it from bike to bike. I move it a little bit close to the display screen because uh, this particular cell phone holder requires the, um, the, uh, the handlebar tube to be a little wider. So the skinny parts of the of the handlebar it, it can't clamp onto that it's too too skinny for it so it prefers a a, a wider um, tube so that means it's got to be closer to the display screen so that's why I have it so close to the display screen and I've been riding this bike for a while before coming out here I'm already done about 14 and a half miles already. Obviously not during this this uh, recording. It was done earlier and then turned on the recording to be out here. And I put a rear view mirror on there, side view mirror. I think side view mirror, side view mirror is kind of a necessity for all bikes. You should always get one of those things. You, you can buy those on Amazon or I think maybe Hemiway might have some for for sale too. I'm not really sure. I've been sniffling a lot <laughs> since being out here. The cold weather really, really gets to me after a while. We'll go by one more time. We'll go around one more time as we're talking. And somebody asked me whether uh, getting a fat tire bike as their first bike was good or not. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I did. <laughs> my first bike was a fat tire bike. And um, most of my bikes are fat tire bikes. I think I only have one right now that isn't. Yeah, there is more rolling resistance with the fat tire bike, but you gotta remember too, you've got a big motor that's helping you out. I don't think you're really gonna notice it that much. Where you will notice it is if you run out of battery, okay? If you run out of battery and you've gotta pedal this thing all the way back home, then you'll notice it, <laughs> that's for sure. So in that sense, um, you have to decide if, if it's right for you or not. I personally prefer the big fat tire bikes because I can go over any terrain and not really worry about where I am. I mean, um, at times I have passed people on the grass 
instead of on the path because the path is all jammed up with people. So I'll move off to the side and then pass them and go back, come back on. I, I'd worry a little bit more if I had a really thin tired bike. Uh, my other e-bike that has uh, you know thinner tires, we're talking one in a 1.25 inches wide. Those are really thin tires. These are four inch wide. So you can kind of imagine you could roll over almost anything with this thing. So overall, um, I think uh, I think a fat tire bike for a first bike is fine. You just have to remember that your uh, your bike is not as as uh, nimble as a thin tired bike is. Like you can't you can't just be swinging the bike back and forth and moving really quickly and doing quick U turns and things like that. It's a little harder with a fat tire bike. But if you know those limitations and you work around it, yeah, there's no reason why you can't use a fat tire bike as your first bike. Well, how about something like this? You know, the, the Zebra? Yeah, it's a $2,000 bike. It's $1,999. Is that a good bike for a first time bike? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, you know, sometimes people feel that you buy a lesser bike for your first bike, but well, then you, you just end up buying a better bike later <laughs> down the road. Why don't you start out with a decent bike? If you started out with a $2,000 bike like this, uh, I don't think you're going to need much more beyond it. You've got a large battery, uh, 20 amp hour battery, so you've got a decent range. We did a range test on this based on my weight. I'm 255 pounds, just riding around things like this. I was able to get 30 miles out of that battery. Now you might say that you know the manufacturers show a higher amount of mileage. Well, yeah, if you were lighter in weight, rolling on straight path, no going up of hills of, or anything like that, you're gonna get a lot more range. My my wife gets a lot more range than I do. She she um, pedals 100% of the time. She never uses her throttle, only just to, to start the bike up. You know, when she's dead stops, just to get up on the bike and get moving, and then she starts pedaling. To, she pedals the entire time. She weighs like nothing, okay? I mean, she, she is thinner than most people, <laughs> I will tell you that. And so, you know, she did, on one of her bikes, she did, um, what was it, 40 miles, and she still had three bars out of the five on her battery. I took another brand of bike, and I did it, and it, <laughs> I, I depleted two batteries. <laughs> So, so think about that, okay? But I throttled a lot, and uh, I'm, I'm, I weigh a lot. So, so what about a bike like this? You know, the bike is relatively heavy in itself. Well, they've kind of made up for that by giving you that 20 amp hour battery. And uh, if you pedal all the time, um, you'll get better than 30 miles of range. I was just shocked I was able to get 30 miles of range based on how I ride and, and my weight and everything. So yeah, Hemiway is known for, for their long range. They're able to go farther than many other, uh, than many other bikes. So yeah, they, they hold true to their word there. Well, anyway, I just wanted to take this bike out one more time, um, give it a nice ride. I knew today the path would not have too many people on it because uh, it, it's cold out here. <laughs> I know I can't last that much longer either, so I think uh, once I get towards the uh, the entrance point, I'm gonna I'm gonna head back out. Anyway, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this particular ride. Think about Hemiwave, it might be a bike that you're interested in. Uh, there's an affiliate link inside the description of my videos that helps me out. Be sure to use that if you decide to order one. And again, that link is good for any of the Hemiway bikes. It doesn't have to be just the Zebra. They've got a lot of other models that you can choose from as well. Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys next time.